see inside here. This is a 81 Trekker. This was actually sold as a Winnebago. Hey, welcome to the channel, Scott Shrides HTX. Don't forget the HTX. Well, we talk about barn finds. Let's see what I got here. Right through here, this man loved Toyotas. And he's got a couple of these that have been restored. Right here is a 1977 Toyota pickup truck. And geez, quite honestly, it's in rough shape but it's all there. If you like metal work, <laughs> this is the one for you, but it is a collector's. I don't know how many are out there of this. So your guess is as good as mine. What I love about this truck is the front end. It's awesome, 70s patina <laughs> or look to it. It, it re almost reminds me of some of them Mazda rotary front end trucks with the Mazda rotary truck and the RX-3. It just looks sporty and that's for a truck. I really like it. I think if I was to do this truck, which there's no way I have the time or the expertise to do all that body work, I'd leave it in that color. And this truck runs. Right now we've got, you know, we got hooked up to the linkage. He actually drove it the other day. The linkage was a little bit soft on it, so he's going to go in there and tighten up the shifter linkage but he drove this the other day it runs it starts it goes I may suggest some shocks in the rear <laughs> but because I bet that's a bit roller coastery ride but it's just really just shocks that's all that's all it is what do you expect I like it this one right here this was the man's daily driver. This is what he loved to drive. Absolutely. So he wasn't much on presence. He was functionality, but you should see some of the cars he has here restored and quite rare Toyotas. I like that he drove that one. What's really interesting It's this truck in here. I really like this truck and it's been restored. Great, it's got the 20R motor in it. He has done an aftermarket carburetor, which I hear helps these out a lot. Now, the AC on this is kind of 50-50. I see that it's been plumbed for it. And if you look inside, which we will do, you'll notice that it is an AC truck, but you know, we're missing a condenser. Looks like we do have a dryer in right there. And there is some plumbing, but you'd have to, you know, kind of finish that job. But I shut this door and you can look at the body lines and hear how that shuts. Guy was very particular in his restoration. The paint is very smooth. It's beautiful, actually. I love the color. And we'll look over some pictures of the restoration itself. Put a bed liner in it. If you look inside, you know, it's got an aftermarket stereo in it. It's got the four-speed transmission. And it does have the components for the AC. And it looks like there would probably be a dryer in there or a um, evaporator in there, excuse me. The interior, we turned it on, we started it. We'll try to do that real quick. Hasn't been started in a while, but once it starts, have to get a little bit of gas in that the fuel bowls of the carburetor. Typical Toyota runs extremely smooth. Put the hood down real quick. Hey, you want me to start it again? You can. See, once the fuel gets in there, starts right up. 
the radio sounds great it's got speaker in the door and these speakers up on the dash work and they sound really nice the interior and here and the door cards are fresh I mean there's you know it's got some patina on it but we're talking this is a 1980 truck on top no rust all the body work's been done and the choice of wheels no aftermarket wheels four by four it's kind of period to what it was and i like it over on this side he's got an 82 long bed that he just started restoring and you can the color that he was going to go with is this real popular gray color kind of i wouldn't call it flat but this real popular colors are, are coming along you see them in blue you see them in gray and that's what he was going to go with on this particular model you can see there was some work in the progress he's got three valve covers on here and here at the bottom we've got a bunch of air cleaners three there so i wonder if there's three motors laying around there's another barn we're going to go into and see some even more rare toyotas if you think this is rare and well done got some pictures of of the restoration process back in the other barn now this is going to be a little dark but we can kind of see inside here this is a 81 trekker this was actually sold as a winnebago winnebago and toyota decided to go in cahoots together and this is the precursor to the forerunner because it was called a trekker and seeing it inside it's a little hard we got some light in here you can't pick up the smell of course but it smells crisp in here. there's no mildew smell in this at all and i think it's says 101,000 something like that miles can't really tell uh crawl in there but you look back inside and they throw threw in a seat in this cover which is fiberglass you slip out of here and they put in this cover that was fiberglass i can only imagine taking this off because you can remove it and get in the back and have that that forerunner type early 80s system they had where you could take off the roof kind of like the k5s and the broncos but i had to be a four-person job to get this thing off because this is heavy but that's the back of it pretty neat now these are getting pretty rare kind of looked online it's got the 20 2R motor, which I think was like 97 horsepower. And it's got some aftermarket wheels on it, which actually look pretty period. I, I kind of like it. But they're getting very rare in some of the prices. I mean, if you've got a fully restored one of these, I think it's upwards of 35,000, 40,000 to have one of these that's in mint condition. This one's getting there. It's basically purchased as it was it looks like it was when he bought it and it was bought in pretty good shape so there really is not too much work to do on this i i really can't see any rust on it but you know a body guy could know more about that now for the real rare item and something i've never even heard of or seen which is a toyota and i'm not going to get very good pictures of this because it's really tight but it's a toyota Toyota Stout 1900. It's engineless, but this is a 1967, right? Uh, yeah, I believe that was right. I didn't know that. That's right. 1967, yeah. Uh, the, oh, does that garage door open up? Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I'll get a better shot of it. Right. 1967 Stout. And Stout is right this thing as far as metal goes this is all workable i don't know what motor would go in this 
Yeah, it's straight, huh? Swing around. Well, you might be hunting for a grill. Yeah. yeah, you might be hunting for a grill and a motor, but maybe it's a project car. Maybe it's something you don't restore. Maybe it's something that you just decide to throw an LS in or something. <laughs> One of those hopped up Toyota six cylinders. 65. 65 Toyota Stout. Never even heard of it. Wraparound windshield on this is actually pristine. There's no cracks in it. You're not going to, you know, it's really hard to find apparently one of these wraparound windshields on one of these trucks that's not broken. That's probably worth as much as the truck. The man loved his Toyotas. And I think they're pretty cool. So, I love barn finds and finding these type of things. I love unique vehicles. I like the fact that he actually drove what he restored and he wasn't really worried about, you know, pompness in what he drove. He <laughs> drove that old, I know. that old Toyota back there when he could have driven any one of these things and he had quite other you know nice cars daily drivers but that's what he decided to drive unique find you never know what you can find put back there um barn find hunter and stuff like that he's got it right actually you just you got to look you got to look in the crevices and keep your ears open and there's always somebody who will find something or know somebody that knows something and all you have to do is ask and find out what it is and Maybe it's something you're interested in. Or maybe it's just really interesting to look at and put on YouTube. You guys keep on keeping on. I'll catch you next time. Pretty cool truck. I'm definitely a buyer on this.